Many of us chase success. We think that it's going to bring us happiness, but you have to understand that true happiness begins when you embrace your own worth. It's not about seeking outside validation from your family, from your friends, from your significant other, from your flings, uh, or even your employer. It really is about recognizing your own value. Now, girl, outside validation can be a trap because seeking approval from others can lead to a never-ending cycle that leaves you feeling unfulfilled and unworthy. And like truth be told, sometimes when you get validation from other people, some people may not even really be genuinely happy for you and may only be telling you what you wanna hear. This means that in order to embrace your worth, you need to self-reflect. You need to understand your own personal strengths, your own values, what your passions are. This will allow you to gain self-awareness, which is the foundation of recognizing your true value. In other words, comparison is the thief of joy. Let go of comparing yourself to others because, girl, you are unique and your journey is your own. And quite frankly, you don't know what it took me to get to here, like to start, you know, making videos and, and doing all that. Just like, I don't know what your personal journey is. Like, I don't know what you've been through to get through, you know, your life steps. Everybody takes different journeys and those journeys are unique. That's why, you know, they always say everyone has a story to tell. And that's why you got to understand your value and your worth. And you got to put some respect on your own name, girl. So here are four common areas and ways in which we as women compare ourselves to others. So the first way that we compare is through physical appearance. We are, you know, always scrolling through social media. We're on TikTok, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. Some of us is even on Pinterest. Um, we watch music videos. We see all these celebrities and the way that they look. And then we start comparing ourselves to them. Like we start looking at our body shapes, our weight, our skin, our hair, our fashion. Which sometimes for some people it leads to having um, body image issues, low self-esteem and insecurities. You have to understand that you are unique. And you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And not everybody is supposed to be looking the same. Okay? We ain't supposed to be looking the same. Why you guys think there's so many flavors of ice cream? Because it's something out there different for everybody. <laughs> and it all, you know, creates a picture, creates a story. So you're a piece of a, a story. You're a piece. So you have to love all of you. You got to value all of you and you got to know your worth and success. Now, we try to compare our academics to each other, our careers, our personal accomplishments. And this sometimes makes it, you know, people feel inadequate or feel like we're in competitions. Like just because somebody has five degrees, that don't mean that they smarter than you. Come on, you now, because some people don't even have common sense, you know, <laughs> and we can we do that because, you know, we're taught to be so competitive, to be so catty, to be so rah-rah when it's not even needed. The next way or the third way that we compare ourselves is with our relationships. We compare our relationships to our friends, our peers. Um, this includes like the quality of our relationships, being married or single, our social status, and these cons uh, comparisons affect our self-worth and decisions in our relationships. Like we'll look at it, look, you know, at some of our friends and be like, "Oh, girl, you've been in your relationship 
with your person for 10 years i've been with mine for three years and we all already engaged with what's, what's going on with you see we always are so combative for for no reason <laughs> like for no reason not recognizing and realizing that everybody journey is different and, and there's no manuscripts there's no true or you know true way in which you know relationships are supposed to pan out shoot you supposed to be about your man and your man's supposed to be about you and as long as y'all relationship is progressing in the way that makes both of you happy that's all that matters so all that you know naysayers and all that stuff should be in the back of your head stop comparing your relationships to others and stop with all these relationship goals because everybody relationship goals is is not the same and some of these people that y'all stamp relationship goals on they can't even stand each other Ugh, like will and jada okay and the fourth way that we compare ourselves is through lifestyles, through social media. Like, we're always trying to showcase and highlight our lives. We're trying to, you know, create the perfect content and create this, you know, sense of I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And all that causes is for some people to, you know, have a fear of missing out you know are again being inadequate girl would you quit it because half of this we already know that half of the stuff that people post on social media don't even be true it don't even be real some of the stuff just be fake and sometimes people just be fronting <laughs> you know so we have to take all of that in consideration so that we are not reducing our own worth in our own value trying to compare ourselves to others look at here girl every video that i'm making is always leading back to here this point which is setting healthy boundaries that is important in recognizing your worth it protects your time your energy and your well-being now when we talk about our worth and our value it's important that we include self-care because that is an act of self-respect you have to prioritize your well-being that means you got to prioritize your mental health your physical health you got to nurture yourself and reinforce your self-worth if that's read if you got to wake up every morning and read affirmations and say that i am beautiful that i am worthy that i am value that whatever god says is mine i'm gonna have it if you have to create and and talk the you know statements into your life so because sometimes you gotta speak life into yourself and you gotta stop worrying about the outside world because you need to worry about you there's only one you <laughs> one you there's no duplications there's no duplicates nobody can ever be you so why not in this day and time value yourself and love on yourself now, if that's not enough, now, if you having issues and problems in, in the self-care area, then practice mindful gratitude. Start counting your blessings. Acknowledge, you know, your achievements and remember the value that you bring to the world. You know, sometimes God always says, like, it just takes a mustard seed for things to grow, for things to prosper. Sometimes those little bitty things that happen in your life you got to show your gratefulness towards small things in order to get to the next level. Because if you can't be grateful for the little things in your life, like waking up, having food on your table, clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, then how do you expect to have an empire, to have a successful business, to have successful, you know, social media channels? If you cannot appreciate the small things in your life and that starts with yourself, uh, it, uh, you know appreciate you know me i'm a can i'm a cancer so i appreciate all my emotions and everything that comes along with me because if i don't appreciate myself how is somebody else supposed to do that uh, i want y'all to tell me in the comments if you don't appreciate yourself how is somebody else supposed to if you don't know your worth how is somebody else supposed to know your worth 
If you don't know your value, how's somebody else going to know your value? Hmm. Now, if you ain't listening to nothing else in this video, just remember this. It is time to embrace your worth and break free from the never-ending race of trying to be like other people. Recognize your value, set boundaries, and prioritize your self-care. Now, if you found this video to be inspiring, y'all, please like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I thank you guys so much for watching.